I just feel like there's so many, such like an abundance of like opportunities. Sorry, it just like upsets me. The Kardashians are back with more hot drama, and it appears like Courtney and Kim are having a falling out. If you've been keeping up with the Kardashians, you're surely aware of their ongoing history of tension between these two. And it's not the first time Courtney's dragged Kim for not being happy for her. But what if she was right all along? What if Kim is finally showing her true colors? What I've realized in this lifetime is that everyone has their own truth of how they think something happened. Although the charge initially seems to be unfounded and cocky, but could Kim be jealous of her sister? And what's up with the rumors that she and Travis hooked up? The Kardashians' penchant for passing around guys among their friends is nothing new. But are they extending the tradition to their family? Or perhaps Kim is simply uncomfortable having someone else in the spotlight with her because she and Kanye used to be the Kardashian family's it couple. And now that Courtney and Travis are happily married and living the dream, the founder of Skims may not be as pleased for her sister. If there's one thing fans of the reality TV star sisters know, it's that Kim has the tendency to think the world revolves around her and we're thinking she might be rubbing not just her sister the wrong way, but her fans too. And Courtney might have just revealed why Kim might be feeling so pressed. And could she have revealed a possible gang up against her in the family? Well, why don't we just get right into it? I divorced Travis because I caught him having an affair with Kim. Now he's in love with her sister. It's all gross. I am not the bad guy. The rumor about Kim hooking up with Travis Barker, Courtney's husband, first began when his daughter Alabama shared a screenshot of the discussion she had with her mom, Travis's first wife. And well, it's not news that Travis had the hots for Kim while he was still with Paris Hilton. And Kim herself was working with Paris at the time. He even called her eye candy in 2015, at the time he broke up with Paris. Now I know what you might be thinking, isn't this old news now? Or how is that relevant in this situation? Well, you see, Courtney allegedly caught Kim flirting with a Blink-182 drummer at one of their family's recent gatherings. And we all know how straightforward she can be. My girl doesn't mince words. I mean, it wouldn't be court if it were done any other way. Cause she made sure Kim knew she was not at all happy about Kim trying to dig her claws into her man. For those of you who live under a rock, this is the rivalry has recently intensified. And we believe it was likely the motivation behind Kim's decision to pursue her sister's partner. An insider source revealed that Kim was flirting with Travis only to spite her sister. Or so, we hope. You know, these Kardashian women pass on their men like some kind of football. For real, we hope she's just flirting out of spite and not getting under any sheets here. Anyway, we know you might be wondering, what's up with the sisters who were supposed to take on the world together? Well, sit tight because the tea just got hotter and we're thinking Courtney might be right after all. She wasn't happy at my wedding. She could never like give acknowledgement of like, whoa, this is so amazing. You were there, you weren't happy. Everyone said something to me, all my friends. They were all like, she's like spiraling. Undoubtedly, it's understandable why Courtney would be irritated by this. After all, it was her special day. And while everyone she invited appeared to be having a good time, her sister hardly acknowledged her wedding. Since she was getting married to Travis, the love of her life, and had finally moved past Scott and all of his psychologically exhausting drama, it makes sense that she would feel upset if her sister didn't show enough support. Kim would have expected the same of her too. Not to mention the somewhat embarrassing counsel Kim gave her before the Poosh founder walked down the aisle at her ideal Italian wedding. So Kim decided to give her sister advice, like the marriage pro she is, and all she could do was make it about her. It was just a typical case of Kim talking about Kim on Courtney's wedding day. What an attitude. In typical Kim fashion, she simply had to make a connection between herself and the counsel she was giving. 
let's just say that this wedding will end up being the catalyst for a string of later on drama. I don't mom think that's fair. Still like, never mentioned it, and mom it. feels like she has, like, is entitled almost. I can't explain it. Like, she doesn't have to get my permission, and I'm like, no, of course, no one has to get my permission. But if you want to have a good relationship and make me not want to run. Courtney believed that Kim had appropriated her wedding look for her Dolce and Gabbana commercial. It's just legit copying my wedding. Like everything that I did. I still want to be really respectful of Courtney in this journey. So I didn't want to do any of her looks, even if I loved them. You know, this may seem like a pretty little incident, but it raises some ethical concerns. At least for Courtney, who claimed her sister had exploited her wedding for financial gain. It's a little surprising that Kim would upstage her older sister in that fashion. Given what we know about her now, she would have been furious if the roles had been reversed. And it wouldn't have been such a big deal if she had simply notified Courtney about the entire campaign strategy. Alternatively, perhaps she realized that using Courtney's hand-picked designs for her campaign was a mistake. The mother of four believed that her sister was trying to take her moment as well as her inspiration without even telling her. And let me just say that Kim was not having it. I got married in Italy. Am I saying you copied me by getting married in Italy? Who performed at my wedding? Andrea Bocelli. Who performed at Courtney's wedding? Andrea Bocelli. You stole my wedding country and my wedding performer. Andrea Bocelli is my favorite male singer of all time, but I'm copying her Dolce Vita lifestyle. Okay. Wedding country? Hasn't Kim been married for like, what, three times already? So no one's allowed to get married in Italy now? And I don't think Courtney's upset that Kim used her carefully picked design, but rather that the inventor of skims failed to even let her know of her plans. She probably realized how wrong she'd been at the time, but she may not have wanted Courtney to intervene. So she just chose to move forward and deal with the consequences afterward. This is where things start to get interesting. And according to Courtney, who believes that Kim made the deal with Dolce & Gabbana out of pure greed and a lack of self-control, she believes that Kim acted the way she did simply because she couldn't let her have the spotlight and needed a piece of it for herself, too. Kim seems to have no sense of when to stop. Since no one in the family has ever called Kim out, she's only ever taken and never stopped. Courtney's promise that this time, however, she won't be holding back. Now, this is no small matter, because we all know how Kim can be with what she feels is hers, even for the littlest things like Christmas lights. <gasps> if anyone copies me on this situation here, what? I already tagged those. I already bought them all last week when I was here. <laughs> Good for you. Last year, Courtney and I got into the most epic fight because she fully copied my light. The guy called me and said, Courtney showed me the video that you sent. That's me. a lie. Well, they told That's me that. That's a thousand percent lie. This makes me not want to have a big family because no one's original. I have warned everyone that I will come for them if they even dare try to copy anything that I'm doing this holiday season. Courtney said during a confessional that the whole thing brought back memories of when she was 14 and wanted to establish her identity as a true horse girl. But Kim revealed that she too wanted to learn how to ride a horse. We may say that this feud, in which Kim wants Courtney's life, has existed since they were young kids. Kim may not like the fact that Courtney's having fun and living the high life, but what do you think? Why does Kim always make everything about herself? She always wants to be the main character, but is this out of jealousy or just a bad habit? And why was she acting so flirty with Courtney's boyfriend? Does she really believe that every man's after her? Share your comments below.